Hi, Ted Padova here again. In this video, I want to talk about how we can take data from one PDF form and then transpose that data to a secondary form. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see on screen here, I have a uh, cover sheet. And if I go to the first page, you can see that I have a number of different fields and I have data in these fields. And this is designed as a recipe book. So I have a recipe here for seared scallops and I have all the items and the measures indicated in these form fields. And what I want to do is transpose this data to a secondary form that would be like a shopping list. And I can print that shopping list, take it to the market, and buy all the ingredients. So let's first take a look at what happens when we uh, click a button to transpose the data. I'll go to preview here. And you see down at the bottom I have new page and card it. New page is going to spawn a page from a template so you can continue adding different pages for your recipe. Recipes. Card it means I'm going to take this data and I'm going to place that data in a secondary document and that document then can be printed and taken to the grocery store. So I'll click on my button. You'll notice that right now I only have recipe manager.pdf open. There's no other PDF document open right now. So I'm going to click on card it. You can see that now I have shopping cart open. Here's the shopping cart, and here's the data that was in that other form that I transposed from that recipe book into this form. Okay, so let me close this file right now, and we'll take a look at how we actually do that. Obviously, to do that, I'm going to use a JavaScript, and I'm going down to this cart it button down here and click on run a JavaScript. You can see that I have quite a lengthy script here. And basically what I'm doing in this script is I'm saying that I'm going to open my shopping cart PDF document. Now, one word of caution, you must have both these files in the same folder because I don't have any directory path information here. When I execute this JavaScript, it's going to look in the same folder for a file named shoppycart.pdf. And then I have a variable here that's J. And basically what J is, is as I spawn pages from templates, they're always going to be preceded by the capital letter P and then the number of the page that's been spawned. So it's going to be P1 and dot and then your field name. So basically what happens is I'm going to set the first value, this is the very first page in my document, to 1. This is going to be P1 and all of these fields are going to be labeled P1 dot ingredients dot quantity dot measure dot item etc etc and then I go through and I get each one of these different fields here quantity measure and item you can see that I have these and I create a loop to go through and loop through 15 fields here looping through collecting the information and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that data and I'm going to place it in my secondary document and this is uh, my slave document I'm going to bring to the front so that by the time the JavaScript is executed you're going to see that document uh, the shopping list transposed with the data appearing in the front of the document. So basically, this is how we do it. And what I'm going to do is just put a link in the description for this file. And I'll add both this file and the other file so that you can then copy that JavaScript. And what you need to do is just be certain that you're going to change the name of the fields at where you want to transpose data from one document to another. And then likewise, change the names of the fields in the other document. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at it, download it, and see if you can have some fun with it. 